Here in my survival world, I've got a lot of diamonds, but you know what I like more than diamonds? Knowledge. Anyways, guys, welcome back to All the Mod 7 here with your pal Super Turtle. Guys, I've done a lot of work off camera. Um, I mean a lot of work. It's really grindy work. I could chopped a bunch of whole bunch whole bunch of trees down uh, so that we could get some charcoal and then process that into some graphite ingots uh, also set this up it's not a foolproof system uh, I'm getting charcoal in here which is kind of goofy but uh, yeah so just getting processed up in the charcoal into the graphite ingots which we're gonna need a lot of today because we are going to be getting into bigger reactors um, from what I can see this is very similar to big reactors if you guys remember that um, it was in my stone block well, I believe one and two series. So, yeah, we're gonna be giving this a shot today. Uh, we're gonna be making a passively cooled reactor, so not an actively cooled with like the heat extractor. Um, we're not gonna be doing that just yet, but we do need to make a couple of things. So, uh, we're gonna need a power tap, obviously, but we need these reactor casings. This is gonna be like the bread and butter of what we're doing today. So we got lots of iron, we got lots of graphite, and we got lots of uranium. Well, we don't have that much iron, but uh, you know, I digress. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of these. I just wanted to show you guys all the re uranium. I wanted you guys to be proud of me. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna shift click there, there. Okay, and we're out of iron. That probably wasn't a good idea, um, but we'll make do with it. Okay. So, yep, yeah, we're going to make, ooh, not the turbine power tap, but the reactor power tap. That one's pretty easy. We just need one of those for our reactor. Um, got the reactor casing. I'm glad we have a lot of those. We need a reactor access port, which means we need a piston, which means we need iron, which means, which means, which means we messed up. Come hither, you beautiful iron. We're going to be uh, smelting. Okay, so we got a little bit of iron in there now, so we can go ahead and make the access port here. We're just gonna make, I don't know. I don't Actually, I don't remember how much of these we need. If I remember correctly, we need a lot for each rod that we have. I guess we'll play with it. Um, the wiki, unfortunately, is a little lacking as of now. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to fumble our way through this together. Uh, reactor computer part. I don't believe we need that. We are gonna need the, the control rods. I'm gonna hit A on that. Um, cool. So this one, we're gonna just try, we're gonna start with a three by three, uh, by something. I don't know how tall we're gonna make it yet. Uh, control rod. That's what we just made. Reactor glass, where is that the fuel rod? This is what we need a lot of. And we need iron for that. Frick. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and make a hammer, smash these guys up into dust so we can double it at least. And uh, we'll move forward after that. All right, so good amount of iron acquired. We can go ahead and create these. So um, I want these to be nine, or not nine tall, geez. I want these to be five tall. Uh, so we're going to need a total of 45 of these. Now, I'm looking at the iron disappearing. Can we get the 45? We can! Oh, my gosh. Okay, so these are going to be five tall. Ooh, man. Um, That was a little close. Where's the controller port here? Reactor terminal. This is probably it. Okay, just a diamond. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and see... How much we can actually craft. Oh, we need to make something very important. We need reactor glass. So it's two to one. All right, so 24. That's not going to be enough at, at first. But we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do stuff. Okay, just trust me. It's going to be fun. Okay, so we just hear a vibin', uh, but we're gonna go ahead and kind of stop that for a second. Um, so yeah, this is where, oh wait a second, I, I'm not doing math in my head right. This is what we need to do. Okay, I was like, what is going on? But uh, yeah, we need to put them in this position. Uh, and this is where the reactor rods are gonna go. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, I have a feeling this is going to create out a lot of power. 
and I don't actually know if uh, the bees can handle this. Now, the, the thing that they said that was different about this to uh, big reactors was that this was more fuel efficient, so we will see. Um, and then we're going to go ahead. Where did those caps go? There they are. The, the control rod. Okay, so very cool. We feel a Z scene. Okay. And that does mean we're going to have to have a layer on the outside as well, but I would actually like to make that reactor glass mostly, so I'm probably going to have to go take a visit to the desert and smelt some stuff up, which is okay. Uh, now we're going to bring this over. This is where the glass will be. And then in the corners, we'll build up. And then we'll do the same on top. Okay, so we kind of got the structure looking pretty good here. So we're going to take this uh, reactor terminal. This guy's going to be dead center. Um, and then our power tap. Oh, and I believe we need two access ports, actually. What was just changing? That was weird looking. Okay, so the power tap, I actually want on the back here with the access port. Uh, I should be able to change that once the whole reactor has been completed, uh, like like finished up, uh, we should be able to switch uh, which way that that pushes power or pushes items. So let's go ahead and make one more of those. So we'll have an input and an output, which is exactly what we need. And then the reactor glass, yeah, two to one. Uh, but we can go ahead and get some sand. Okay, so with that second uh, access port over here, uh, we can place that in. So we're gonna have input here, output here. It's probably uh, output the cyanide if it's very similar to uh, big reactors. But now we just need glass. We have one, two, three, four, five. So five by five, that's 25 per side. So we need 100 glass, uh, reactor glass. And is it, Okay, so it's two to one. So we actually need 200 reactor glass. Okay, so I got to go take a visit to the desert and get up a little bit more glass and then we'll be set. Okay, so now we have the proper amount of glass. Um, I believe we have to put a liquid in there as well. Um, I'm pretty sure water will work. Uh, as, as crazy as that seems, uh, we might just have to fill it up with water. But we will we'll try it out first, and then if it gets too hot, hopefully it doesn't explode. Um, but, you know, thinking about that, and I have had reactors explode before turbines. We probably should just put water in there uh, to, to call it safe. So, uh, Okay, but if we do this, yes, it does say that it is online. Um, it's got no fuel. Let's go ahead and run to the back here. Uh, yes, okay, so we can put that to output. Amazing, okay, let's go get some item pipes and we'll get a chest or something like that and we'll give it a shot. Oh man, I'm excited. Okay, so I grabbed uranium. I'm pretty sure what we need is actually cyanite, uh, which is uh, you make cyanide dust by smelting it, and you make that with uranium dust. Um, is there a other way to do that, or is it very manual? Um, oh, that actually would be extremely easy because we already have the bees set up. Um, so we would basically just stop the bees from, or stop the processing system and just process the combs, really. Um, okay, so these have been configured. We'll put the uranium in here. Okay, it looks like it is going in, which is good. Um, put, I'm putting waste. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay, so we do have a little bit of uranium in there. Turn it on. Yep, that got really hot. I'm not going to mess with that. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get some water in there. <laughs> that was almost really... Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is I was thinking about this. We need to place these like so because we'll have the water flow onto the fuel rods. Um, so the best way for us to do that would be like this. Have it spread out. Uh, and I believe that will create an infinite water. Nope, no, it's no water. That's okay. Um, we can just grab some more water from over here real quick. 
But uh, yeah, so very excited. Uh, we got the water in there. Hopefully it cools it enough. Because uh, as we saw, that jumped in heat very, very fast. Uh, so let's put these back. That's working. Okay. Uh, so if we turn it on... It's still way too hot. Hmm. What do we use for coolant? Um, do we even use water or is it something else? Let me let me go ahead and do some more research real quick. Okay, so checking the wiki, uh, I found out that um, like there's a rating scale for cooling, uh, and water has a cooling rating of 1.33, uh, but uh, graphite blocks have a rating of uh, two. Uh, so obviously they're they're much better. Uh, so we're gonna be trying these guys out. Uh, but the best one that we can get is a vibranium, and that has a cooling. Uh, capability of eight. However, it's not very efficient from what it looks like. So, uh, going to be filling everything in here with graphite. I don't know if I have enough of this. We do have a lot, uh, but I don't know if it's quite enough to fill everything in here up. Uh, yeah. I think we actually do have enough. Okay, let's just test this out. All right, reactor's back up and running. Let's turn it on. Uh, we're just above 3,000 Kelvin. And Okay, so we're, it's definitely cooler, which is good. Uh, but we are generating 23,000 RF per tick. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, how much fuel was that using? Let's turn it back on real quick. Um, one of those per tick. Okay. Let's go get a whole bunch of the uranium, and we're going to throw it in there and see what we get. The reason why we're... I guess focusing so much on the power right now is because uh, we need a more power, baby. That's why. But uh, <laughs> uh, we we need to get into some some mods that require quite a bit of power, and this seems to be a great one. And the cool thing is we have tesseracts and things like that, so we can actually uh, use wireless item transferring. We also have ender chests, um, like the customizable ones, so we can also use those. Um, and then we can also like recycle fuel and stuff like that. So there's a whole lot of stuff we can do. Uh, and then the big one will be powering all of this because um, I'd like to just have it go from here to here to here. And then we just kind of uh, burn the wax somewhere else as a fuel source. So like we could easily do that uh, eventually. So that'd be fun. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of uranium saved up for this project. I'm super duper excited. But we actually don't have anything that can use that much power yet, which is the funny thing. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of goofy to have all of this power available to us and no way to use it. So if you guys have any suggestions for what we should use it for, uh, go ahead and put that down in the comments. Like if you know of a mod uh, that we can that like requires a bunch of power, uh, yeah, go like tell me. I will. I would love to hear about it. Um, so yeah, why? Why are we only getting one filled up, though? Why aren't we ejecting any waste? Do we have any waste over here? No. I guess we haven't generated that much. Wish you could see the amounts that you had. I guess you can from the front, but it's only filling up one of these rods, which is weird, unless they've changed something and you can't do that anymore. Anyway, we're still creating a bunch of power, so that is absolutely amazing. 
Okay, so let's talk about the, the, the elephant in the room that I said earlier, the Tesseract. Uh, yeah, this is actually not too expensive, just obsidian, a, a block of diamond, and some ender pearls. Uh, but I do need more ender pearls because we need to go to the end, and I've only got eight. Uh, and then we're also going to need some decent gear. So that is something we definitely need to focus on. I think that'd be a good live stream. Um, you know, uh, streaming the, the lives. So... Uh, yeah, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed the Big Reactors mod, please hit that like button. And if you loved it, guys, a subscription would help so much. It means so much to me. But anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.